I'm Nat and this is James. For over two years we've been sailing the world aboard our floating home, Zephyr. Someone once said that every person can transform the world to one of excitement and adventure. Follow our adventure by clicking the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Become a patron by clicking the patron logo. You will get early access to weekly videos, exclusive content and much more. My baby. I don't cover that I die for you. Oh. So we're off on a mission to uh, redo all of our markers on our chain because when we went to drop just now we realized that there's hardly any markers left. Um, so that means James has to, because we're not going to a marina, he has to get in <laughs> and go along the bottom and measure 25 feet. And then we're gonna put these bad boys belt weight belt on. Weight ready belt to go. on. Luckily, we're only in eight feet of water, so it makes this job pretty easy. I think if it was any so. deeper, I would suck at this. He's down there somewhere. There he is. That's 25. Perfect. Wow, so many nice snapper under here. Off he goes again. So guys, another sleepless night. Why? Because we had someone drag anchor. We had to end up putting more chain out in a massive storm last night. Um, and I mean, we put as much chain as we could out, but this is where they're currently sitting. <sighs> it's ridiculous. That's how close they are. <laughs> Literally everywhere I look out the window, I can see their boat. Breakfast in here and probably breakfast on their boat, which we can probably, if they want any cookies, have them over. <laughs> I'm making a massive pot of coffee though right now. Because <laughs> we're both exhausted. There it is. And uh, James is off to check on our anchor, which we know we haven't moved because we're in line with all the other boats. And on our trout loader, we didn't get any alarm. And, but he's just gonna check. And then he's gonna check on this guy's anchor because maybe he didn't put enough out. Maybe he put too much chain out and then when he's stretched out, yeah, he's gonna go and check that. And like, it's eight o'clock in the morning. We've had like little to no sleep this morning and he's, uh, it's the first thing he wanted to do before we had coffee. So what's the verdict after <laughs> this one? So uh, I went and dove on the anchors. So I went and dove on the anchors and, um, Ours is exactly where it should be. And we're in eight and a half feet of water at the moment, nine feet. And we've got about 70 feet in the water. So we're like, you know, plenty of scope. I dove on their anchor as well. And I started from their bow and it just kept going and going and going. I thought the chain was never gonna end. And it was so far away their anchor and it had done what I thought in the night. We turned and it dragged a little bit and it reset. And I bumped into the lady and I asked her how much change she had up. 45 meters in 2.6 meters of water. Which can also be dangerous when you have that much Exactly, chain exactly. I was, and I asked, I was like, no why do you have so much chain out? And she's like, oh, we just wanted to be safe. But we did come across them last time and they did drag, so maybe onto a reef. Maybe. Yeah, when we were in Coco Banderas, they were literally, um, what do you say, a couple yeah. meters from landing on the reef. So they maybe, maybe now, because they have children on board and stuff, they just want to be extra safe. But maybe. they don't realize that that, because no one scopes that much out. In, in 2.6 so, meters of water, to have 45 meters of chain out is... It's, what are it's we on? Insane. Seven to one. Yeah, we have 70, maybe 75 now because I let out uh, yeah. the rest of the snubber. Uh, we have 75 feet in the water in 
8.5, 9 feet of water. So we're, yeah, we're like seven, seven and a half to one in scope. Which is more than enough. More than enough, like 10 to one in a huge, huge storm. Anything over five to one is butter. So like seven and a half, we'll hold all day long. And like our anchor didn't move an inch last night, even when we rotated. Yeah, yeah. So our anchor, we were obviously anchored that way. When we rotated, our anchor literally just pivoted on the spot and then sunk even deeper with the wind, so. But it can cause more problems because no one puts out that much scope. Like everyone kind of puts out the same much scope depending on the depth. You want to be on five to one or if there's going to be wind more, right? Yeah, exactly. So if you end up putting a ton more, then you're going to get problems like this. Yeah, and you, you, you're 100% right. Like, you know, and it, every anchorage is a little bit different. This isn't a super wide anchorage, but um, so you have to kind of watch your scope, but it's super shallow water. There's no, no reason for it. And when you look at all the other boats, like we were all anchored in two rows going along this sandbar and all the other boats in their inner row that were anchored have, you know, set back the right amount of distance, but they're like, <laughs> you know, they're over top, they're past our anchor. I know. So, yeah, they're like the odd man out. It's like boat, 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 mm -hmm. boat, boat, boat. <laughs> Plus. Anyway, so we all learn that. from, from yeah. these mistakes. So. so we're exhausted and Nat's making a huge cup of coffee, which is just... There it is. And, a, and we have cookies that I made yesterday. Oh. Wow. So what's the scope on that? Yeah, so I was just doing a little bit more math because, you know, we're working between feet and meters here. Um... I've converted them, so they have 45 meters, which is basically a foot shy of 150 feet out in nine feet of water, which is like 14, 16, oh, 16. 16. 16.6 to one over the depth. So Wait, so what's their scope? So they currently have 150 feet of chain out in nine feet of water, and the holding is a incredible here we're talking deep soft mm. sand like you don't see the anchor head so they're on 16.6 .6 to 1 as a ratio 16.6 oh my god it's so as nat said earlier sometimes putting too much chain out in an anchorage can be equally as dangerous because it's not comparable to what everybody else has out so you don't swing the same as everybody else mm -hmm. so all right bed sheet wash time off you go. This is how you wash bed sheets. Oh, well. Bit of curd. No, give it a wash, though. All right. Get stuck in there. Her we're never, we're, <laughs> we're never going to get the salt out of this. Never. That's a bad gonna, idea. Like no, you need to get a bit, a bit more of a whirl than that. A bit more of a whirl. Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, huge news after a ton of logistics being worked out. Sailing Zephyr is going to be at the 2021 Annapolis Boat Show, and we couldn't be more excited. We hope to see you guys all there. Come down, meet us in person. With this huge news, we had to return back to Linton Bay and head down to Panama City to go and get our final vaccination. Back to get our second job. Vaccination number two. <laughs> the saga of boats hitting us continues even in Linton Bay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what a night! I know. It's incredible. We we're fast asleep having the best sleep we've had probably in a while and all of a sudden we both just hear this grinding bang and we're like what the hell so i run out of bed nat's right behind me i don't even think you had your eyes open and just by memory she's scaling the stairs we run out to the bow and uh, this other old juno or beneteau like 45 foot is literally five feet past our bow banging up against us what a wake up call oh my god and so, I mean, immediately we just asked if they were okay and all that, and um, they'd started their engine and they motored off of us. And they said they had 70 meters of chain out, which is okay, because we're in uh, 10 meters of water. But what they hadn't done was they hadn't obviously checked whether if they were stretched out, they were gonna swing into anybody, whether they could swing 360. And obviously that was the problem. And they swung onto us at five o'clock in the morning. Or God, that was awful. So what do you, 
initially so let's check the damages i mean this is really dirty but yeah initially I we're mean, looking okay um they had a big red trash bag on the outside of their boat that was full of stuff that i think helped like as it worked as like a fender um and it's left some red marks here on the gel coat but they all look like they would buff out pretty easy so there's a couple of spots of concern there's a bit of rubbish here where you can see the logo um, so i'm not too sure about that but the gel coat seems all right just a little bit of blue the, yeah these red paint transfers here um there's a little bit more just here and then there's a little bit here on the tow rail but i think all of this will buff out quite easily i think that's all i can see back in puerto lindo hey guys so we are on our way to panamarina which is the marina next to linton to help out our friends on bella demanda nat and uh, neville pull their boat out so uh, we're actually going to help them out and also to figure out how we're going to do it because in about 10 days we're also pulling our boat out on into that marina for the first time in like two and a half years we're going to paint the bottom of the boat it needs it really badly yeah. so yeah we're just going through uh the mangroves now to get there and then help them out we're also going to find out prices all that kind of stuff how it works there um, we've heard it's the cheapest one, so we're pretty excited because, yeah. yeah. Cheap is good. Cheap is good, and also we get to save some uh, bit of money for the haul out. Haul outs are always quite expensive, so. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. That's it, guys. They are getting lifted out right now. Uh, I'm glad they're the guinea pigs and not us. <laughs> Uh, but it seems to be going really well. They got a big team, and they pretty much do all the work for you. They do everything. You just sit back, and relax, and let them take charge. So. There it goes. Perfect. Bella Demanda, never looking a little stressed at the moment. <laughs> what did What did they say? That is super dirty. <laughs> I I just finished saying I didn't think it looked too bad. I've seen way worse than this. Bella D's back end looks pretty good. I cleaned everything a while ago. <laughs> All right, guys, we literally have five days till we fly to the Annapolis Boat Show, and there is so much to get done. But we're slowly ticking through everything we need to do. We have finally booked our haul out, and we are doing that the day before we have our flight. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that all works out. But we decided to kill two birds with one stone by taking the boat out for storage. And then when we get back, we can actually do the anti-fouling, uh, which is long overdue. So it's mental here on Zephyr. We're trying to get a lot done in these five days leading up to our flight. So we have to prepare the boat for storage, take down the head sail, do the last minute laundry, pack, figure out the last little bits um, in for the Annapolis Boat Show, like merch, what we need to take with us. And, uh, but apart from that, we're really, really, really excited. Um, we've met so many YouTubers here uh, in Panama. They all seem to be in this marina and in the San Blas. So we're actually flying with a lot of them. So we're pretty excited to, to have fun over there and definitely meet a bunch, new bunch of people. So, yeah, okay, I better get back to it though, and we'll see you at the Annapolis Boat Show. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content, and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.